Saint Mel's Catholic Cathedral stands as an enduring symbol of strength, faith and architectural beauty in Longford, Ireland. Its rich history is marked by periods of prosperity, devastation and restoration. From its humble beginnings to its majestic restoration after a destructive fire, the cathedral holds a special place in the hearts of both locals and visitors alike. St. Mel's Catholic Cathedral is dedicated to St. Mel, the nephew of St. Patrick and the first Bishop of Ardra. It has been a spiritual cornerstone for the community since its construction in the 19th century. This cathedral is considered to be one of the finest classical style ecclesiastical buildings in Ireland. It was commissioned by Bishop William O'Higgins. The design he conceived was strongly influenced by his travels in Europe, drawing inspiration from grand neoclassical churches such as Magdalene Church in Paris and St. John Lateran and Pantheon in Rome. The foundation stone for St. Mel's Cathedral was laid on 19th May 1840. However, the work was suspended in 1846 at the onset of the Great Famine. The construction recommenced again in 1853. It was dedicated in 1856 and consecrated in 1893. This magnificent cathedral is the work of three eminent architects of the 19th century, John B. Cain, John Burke and George C. Ashley. The exterior of St. Mel's Cathedral displays classic Gothic features such as pointed arches, elaborate decoration on the windows and decorative pinnacles. The facade is dominated by a tall bell tower adding to the verticality typical of Gothic architecture. The use of local grey limestone for the walls gave the cathedral a solid and enduring appearance. Inside this cathedral, we can see a spacious nave with high ceiling supported by slender columns. It was illuminated by stained glass windows, many of which are depicted from the scenes of the biblical narratives. The chancel was especially ornate with intricate carvings adorning the altar and surrounding areas. The sanctuary featured richly decorated furnishings and a beautiful vaulted ceiling. The cathedral's history is a tapestry woven with threads of both triumph and tragedy. Throughout the years, it has witnessed moments of joy such as weddings, baptisms, confirmations, and other celebrations of faith. It has also witnessed moments of sorrow, including wars, economic hardships, and the Great Famine. Perhaps its most defining moment came on the Christmas morning of 2009. A shocking fire ravaged the cathedral leaving little more than its stone wall standing. However, a painting of the Holy Family, which had been hanging at an altar in a side aisle, was relatively untouched. In the aftermath of the fire, the community rallied together 
to restore this cathedral to its former glory the restoration effort was a testament to the unwavering faith and spirit of the people of longford with the support of skilled craftsmen generous donations and tireless dedication st mel's cathedral began to rise from the ashes like a phoenix reborn the restoration process was a meticulous endeavor requiring years of planning fundraising and painstaking craftsmanship skilled artisans meticulously recreated the cathedral stained glass windows and ornate artwork they ensured that every detail reflected the cathedral's original splendor the result was nothing short of a miracle a cathedral restored to its former glory standing as a beacon of hope and inspiration for generations to come it was reopened for services at midnight mass on christmas eve 2014 Every corner of the cathedral tells a story inviting visitors to reflect on their faith and the enduring power of divine presence. St Mel's Cathedral is not only a place of worship but also a destination for pilgrims and tourists from around the world. Whether attending a mass or simply admiring its beauty from the outside the visitors cannot but be moved by the profound sense of peace and spirituality beyond its religious significance st mel's cathedral is deeply rooted in the fabric of the longford community it serves as a local gathering place for the community to come together in times of joy and sorrow to celebrate weddings and baptisms as well as to mourn the death of their deceased loved ones and to seek solace and guidance in their faith the cathedral's presence is a constant reminder of the enduring bond between the people of longford and their shared heritage for the people of longford this cathedral is more than just a building it is a testament to their faith history and their unwavering commitment to preserving the legacy of the generations past for the generations to come